It looks like the all-new Tesla Model 2 is on the brink of release, and the best part is that it's expected to debut at a starting price of around $17,999. That price point sounds almost too good to be true, and it would be if it hadn't come at a cost. Tesla had to make some serious trade-offs to achieve this price, but the company seems confident it was worth it. According to recent updates, Tesla's affordable next-generation models have officially entered mass production in the first half of this year, and if the calendar is any indication, that means we're in the launch window right now. Elon Musk has gone on record to say the Model 2 will be the most mass-produced car in automotive history, with a production target of over 42 million units, more than the combined production of both the Model 3 and Model Y. That claim initially sounded like another one of Musk's over-the-top declarations, but the recent unveiling of Tesla's next-gen 50,000-ton gigapress changed everything. When Tesla announced its cutting-edge gigacasting system designed specifically for its upcoming affordable vehicles, it started to make sense. The unique design of this car, which reportedly diverges significantly from current Tesla models, will surprise many. Yet the real breakthrough isn't just in the looks, it's in how fast it can be built. Musk revealed the Model 2 will be produced at a much faster pace than the Model Y, which is already one of the most efficiently manufactured vehicles in the industry. That's a bold promise, but with the scale of technology Tesla has built around this project, it's not impossible. So what exactly do we know about this long-anticipated low-cost Tesla? And is it the magic formula that will draw in millions of new customers while maintaining Tesla's signature innovation? The Model 2 has been discussed and debated for years. For those following Tesla closely, this isn't the first time the idea of a sub-$25,000 electric vehicle has made headlines. After various delays, shifting priorities, and even moments when the project seemed to be scrapped entirely, Tesla is finally delivering on that promise. Thanks to several direct confirmations from Elon Musk and official clues dropped by the company, the Model 2 is no longer just a concept. Production has already started, and the announcement of its release is now a matter of when, not if. Given Tesla's current need to boost sales and expand its consumer base, it couldn't come at a better time. There are also a flurry of new leaks and last-minute spy shots adding to the excitement. One key detail is that the Model 2 will be manufactured using a completely new process centered around a brand new Giga Press. Tesla previously used a 6,000-ton Giga Press to manufacture large portions of the Model Y's chassis, drastically cutting down the number of parts needed and lowering production costs by up to 40%. This innovation replaced about 70 different parts with just two large castings and a structural battery. Now with the Model 2, Tesla is going a step further, utilizing a 50,000-ton Giga Press capable of producing an entire underbody in one single piece. Even more impressively, Elon Musk mentioned that this new machine could potentially produce up to five underbody castings at once. That means not just faster production, but radically reduced costs and complexity. The implications of such a casting process are enormous. The Model 2, being even more compact than the Model 3, benefits greatly from the Giga casting strategy. It has very short front and rear overhangs and nearly no traditional trunk, making it a perfect candidate for such a manufacturing approach. Because the 6,000-ton press wasn't powerful enough to handle a single-piece casting for this car, Tesla's transition to the 50,000-ton press is a necessary step. It's a massive leap forward in terms of automotive production efficiency. With this system, Tesla can reduce vehicle weight, increase structural rigidity and lower labor requirements all in one go. The production process of the Model 2 is fascinating in itself. It all starts with melting aluminum ingots and scrap metal in a furnace that reaches around 850 degrees Celsius. From there, the molten aluminum is transported through heated pipelines to a second furnace where it is kept between 750 and 850 degrees Celsius. Nitrogen gas is injected to prevent oxidation and a rotary de gas air along with a silicon carbide filter is used to remove impurities and any particles larger than 25 microns. This process ensures the molten metal is clean and ready for high-pressure injection. Before each casting cycle, the mold is coated with about 35 milliliters of soybean oil to make it easier to release the part. The mold is then vacuum-sealed, and the aluminum is injected using a high-speed piston, which itself is lubricated before each shot. The molten metal is then cooled quickly to avoid defects. Once the part is removed from the mold, still at around 400 degrees Celsius, it is immediately placed in a cooling bath to bring the temperature down to 50 degrees. The mold is then cleaned and prepped for the next cycle, and the entire process repeats about every 1 to 2 minutes. X-ray inspections confirm the structural integrity of each casting, ensuring consistent quality across all units. 
and because this is done with a 50,000 ton press, the clamping force required to hold the mold during injection is absolutely massive, ensuring that the mold doesn't burst under pressure. According to Musk, Tesla had to design an ultra-fast cooling system, a high-speed mold release setup, and an AI-powered inspection process to make all this possible. It's unlike anything any other automaker has attempted at this scale. It's also the reason why the Model 2 will likely be able to meet that unprecedented 42 million unit production target. Now let's talk about the car itself. Based on recent sightings, the Model 2 is significantly shorter than the Model Y, but appears to be a crossover, not a hatchback. It will carry. Tesla's signature minimalist interior and clean exterior, but without many of the premium features seen in more expensive models. The Model 2 is expected to include essentials like autopilot, a touchscreen possibly smaller than 15 inches, mobile app controls, software updates, and basic voice command capabilities. However, many luxury features have been trimmed to meet the price goal. You won't find rear screens, power trunks, heated or ventilated seats, or a glass roof here. Instead, the Model 2 will come with fabric seats, single-pane windows, reduced speaker count, and a simpler interior layout with metal roof and single-color lighting. And that's not all that's being left out. Reports suggest that even the infotainment experience will be simplified, though you'll still get navigation, music apps, and over-the-air updates. One Tesla insider said that the car will include about 80 structural components in total, compared to over 200 in the Model Y. That's a 60% reduction, which massively streamlines production and further cuts down on costs and assembly time. That's a big part of how Tesla can aim for the sub-$18,000 price point while maintaining profitability. Under the hood, or more accurately, beneath the floor, the Model 2 is expected to use a 50 to 55 kilowatt hour lithium iron phosphate battery. This battery chemistry is less expensive than nickel based alternatives, and Tesla has worked closely with Chinese battery giant CTL to enhance fast charging capabilities and range. While it may have just one motor and slower acceleration, the Model 2 could still manage up to 260 miles of range per charge, thanks to its smaller size, lighter weight, and more aerodynamic shape. Fast charging will reportedly deliver an 80% charge in under 30 minutes. So although performance might not wow everyone, the basic EV functionality will still be solid. Originally, Tesla planned to produce the Model 2 at Giga Texas, but due to overwhelming demand on that facility with projects like the Cybertruck and CyberCab, it now appears that Fremont may take the lead in early production. Spy shots of camouflaged vehicles believed to be Model 2 prototypes have surfaced multiple times near the Fremont factory, hinting that this is the site Tesla is prioritizing to get the affordable EV to market quickly. Still, pricing remains a hot topic. While Tesla is advertising the $17,999 tag, that figure includes the $7,500 federal tax credit. If those incentives disappear, as they're set to phase out starting in 2026, Tesla will be forced to either raise the sticker price or eat the cost. Without those credits, the Model 2 would cost over $25,000, which makes competing against the Toyota Corolla or Honda Civic much harder. Tesla's plan hinges on maintaining these incentives for as long as possible, and losing them could delay the Model 2's success. Tesla's road to launching an affordable car hasn't been easy. Musk first hinted at it back in 2020, promising a game-changing EV anyone could afford. But the project was repeatedly postponed as Tesla diverted attention toward full self-driving development and its ambitious robo-taxi program. Building a car without a driver or steering wheel became the bigger priority, and the Model 2 was shelved in the meantime. But now, as Tesla faces fierce competition from Chinese EV makers and falling demand in certain markets, the timing is finally right to reintroduce the low-cost EV concept. If Tesla succeeds in launching the Model 2 this year, at the right price and with sufficient production capacity, it could be the company's most important product in over a decade. It has the potential to capture an entirely new market, bring EV ownership to the mainstream, and help Tesla recover from a rough start to the year. Despite the delays and compromises, the Model 2 still represents something that millions of people have been waiting for, a truly affordable, mass-market electric car. And if Tesla can pull this off, the automotive industry will never be the same again.